For years, you've heard the studies women over the age of 40 should get a mammogram every year to screen for breast cancer. Well, nowadays, some doctors say women can skip a year and get the screening every other year. But a Pearl City woman says no matter how often you get a mammogram, all women need to do monthly self-breast exam. And as KITV4's Ann Sterling explains, that monthly exam probably saved her life. All you have to do is take a look at Jean Miyahira to see she is a wonderful mother and a pretty cool grandmother. But take a closer look. What you might not see is how beautiful this 70-something-year-old <clears throat> woman is on the inside. You must, after meeting her, love her as much as I do. She's just a genuine person. Genuine and unselfish. It was nearly five years ago when Jean discovered, through a self-breast exam, a big lump. And that was at 3 o'clock in the morning. I had no one to call. But it frightened me because I had been very careful about recognizing cancer, um, cancer signs. And so it was very devastating to think that at my age I would be having cancer. All her life, Jean has been very active. She eats healthy and was rigorous about performing self-breast exams. Still, breast cancer found her. After getting over the shock of the initial diagnosis, Jean looked at her choices. I did surgery, and surgery was done very fast. I did surgery, and then within, I would say within five, six weeks, I had met Dr. Carney, and we went through the process of talking about um, my choices. The next choice, chemotherapy. Jean lost her hair, her eyelashes, her eyebrows. But I didn't realize chemotherapy would be so awful. It took a toll on me. Jean's treatment lasted for six months, but her personal journey with breast cancer was just beginning. What many patients would say, okay, I'm, I'm great, I'm done, I'm on the maintenance part, I take a pill every day. She actually has um, enrolled in a clinical trial. Being part of a clinical trial is not to be for myself personally, but to help the others who are, who will face the same problems eventually. And it's not people my age. I was thinking of the very young. In fact, Jean is dedicating five years of her life to this clinical trial. She knows this research will not affect her care, but she hopes it will help younger women diagnosed with breast cancer. And so she's on this pill for five years in addition to her standard of care or the study medication. And so we don't have the results of the study yet, but when we get them, you know, she'll know too how she's really contributed to her community. It was a personal journey because I realized I, I had so much more in life to give to other people that this was an opportunity for me to say, I can do it, and I did it. Ann Sterling, KITV4 News. The National Cancer Institute just awarded Kaiser Permanente a more than $7 million award to expand its cancer clinical trials program. Some of that money will be used right here in the islands. And don't forget, the Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure is October 19th at Kopi'olani Park. We are proud to be working with the Susan G. Komen people on this. For more information on how to sign up, just head to our website at KITV.com.